Listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail. The Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. It hasn't been yet. Look. I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, <clears throat> store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he went quiet. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Revenue, but and utilizing completeness. Or you can make you, you. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Oh, maybe they thought this would be the best cover. And most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Agent Dave Norton, white middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident, the shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Townley. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. Uh, take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. It's about completeness and the opportunity that offers to people to realize a beautiful truth in a convention center for a weekend retreat. Give me a break. I am doing. I'm giving you the best break of all. The chance to live free of dogma and can't. It's a structured study program. What have you got to fear? What is one weekend of your life? Okay, I've been dragged into all kinds of bad situations with that line. I can tell you what one weekend of your life is. One where you wake up with a tattoo and a new wife that pees standing up. Right? Besides, I just have this weird thing against new religions that are founded by tax accountants. Call me boring, but when it comes to imaginary friends, I'm strictly old-fashioned. For the last time, child, we don't believe in anything. There are no secrets. Children of the Mountain is an accredited study program. Follow us and you'll be free from all belief. You'll be free from knowledge. You'll be free to share that with others. Uh, what? This is lunacy. Your hostility is really depressing, Laszlo. You see clearly, Michelle. Laszlo, there's a mountain up there. Let me show you the way. Well, listen, dude. I've been to the mountaintop, okay? I've been to a lot of concerts and done a lot of drugs. I've been up there, okay? I've got a top-rated talent show on TV and a nationally syndicated talk show. I've been an anodyne mineral sexual that literally millions of people look up to, and believe me, it sucks, okay? I believe in one thing only, my relentless ability to screw up. One stupid word, one inappropriate comment, one touch, and an innocent caress between colleagues. You know, and it begins again. The slow descent down. Your ratings come down a bit. The groupies, they start to get older and chunkier and have that weird fat girl smell. You appear in commercials for worse and worse cars and suddenly you're not the spokesperson for an expensive Swiss watch, but for some swingers resort in Guatemala or a war zone. You're on the way down, so you get desperate. You do, you do more and more insane things Josie for ratings. Minutes. You don't care, but it's no good. The public doesn't love you anymore. Nobody loves you. There's a, a great hole of lovelessness inside you. You're just a shell. Nobody cares. Your, your friends are more successful than you. They, they won't call you back. They, they don't even... Okay, let's get this done. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Sir, thank you. The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. The alarm, the vents, and the cameras, come on! Glasses are live, shoot away. This shot is useless. There's nothing here. Hey, beautiful. I need to pick up a little something for the woman in my life. Well, one of them. <laughs> Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Okay, now that you've got that out of the way, can you take the photographs? Alarm, vents, and cameras, get some shots! All right, I got an idea of their CCTV setup. Can you shoot an air vent in the alarm keypad? Shot of the alarm console and event, please. So, uh, that's the cameras and the alarm. When you've got a shot of the vents, we're done. That's the ventilation. Come back to me. Have a wonderful day. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. You know, I thought this town would have more weird people. Let's speed this up. We don't want to draw attention. Drive us around the block. We gotta find a way up to the roof. I have some spiritual ass jumper cables, and you are about to get some mind boggling currents through your body. Man, I just love that metaphor. We are here to deal with your Los Santos County integrated health needs, and I'm your host, Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Here with my producer, Nurse Cheryl Fox. Hi, everybody. Let's jibber and more jabber as your lips vibrate together. Look, there. Some construction. Yeah, if they're gutting the place, I might be able to get to the roof. That shakes us all free like a wet dog. I woke up the other moment, hum, all over the inside of my shorts. Hum. Be clean, Cheryl. May your barren womb be artificially inseminated with acorns and... Man, you have got to send me out on more stuff, Brian. 
So you keep up with the old crew? No, well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while, needed to uh, know that he didn't blame me. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. He's probably a John Doe then, right? I'm on the roof. All right, use the glasses to get me a shot of Angelico's roof unit. It'll be right above the store. <sighs> what do you think? OD, shootout, maybe just a car crash, right? Anonymous charred remains on the highway. They only knew what a sick puppy they had on their hands. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Right, you're well placed to take the photo of the system now. Okay, capture an image of the system and we're done. That's the shot. You've covered the vents on the roof now. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. Here, take your glasses back. Let's go back to the garment factory. I called ahead and those team coming of age. I'm gonna start setting up the information. So what did you see? Nothing that'll cause undue complications. Yeah, it looked like a simple setup. Cameras broadcasting to a remote server. We might be able to wipe them remotely. Security guard on the door. He won't want to die for rich assholes to rub his nose in it. Uh, good. Alarm systems linked to the door lock. We'll get a good window if someone talented hacks it. Anything else? Well, the uh, more valuable merchandise is in the cabinets in the center of the store, by the register. So I'd start there. Mm, glass in the cabinets wasn't bulletproof. Means you can smash them easy enough, but the phones will be in the safe at night. So, we go in when it's open, then? Right. Once we melt down the gold, recut the rocks, that's an okay score. Yeah, shame we can't go in after hours, man. Those vents look promising. I might be able to flip that another way. I'm listening. Wait till we get back. About the crew. Yeah? There's this kid who's been helping me. Maybe we could cut him in. I don't work with amateurs. He ain't an amateur. Or if he is, he's a gifted amateur about to turn pro. He's a good kid, Lester. You know what they say. It's your funeral. One of them, at least. Ha ha ha. $300. The girl in the next available flight. I'm not gonna do it, Sheriff! And nobody... Today, it ain't gonna happen, Cheryl. Not in front of my public, and not in front of my listeners, and not in front of those people out there who I'm cleansing through their ass. It's not gonna happen. You really. And there's two ways I see of doing this we go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? 
If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't slow you down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. It means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by L. SPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run in through the front door or try to play it smart? Ah, you've grown wise and cautious in your old age. Okay. Select personnel with that in mind. As ever, the better they are, the bigger the cut. Now the driver, they'll source the... Eddie Cho. Now you can count on him to get you out of a spot. Guns. Now we're hoping to keep quiet, so this guy shouldn't make much difference. McReary? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. I got a good feeling about him. Hacker. Back office, but this is the person who will determine how long... Harris! <laughs> good. Feminine touch. She'll be able to find any back doors they got. If this is how you want to do it, I'll get moving. Great. Uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes. Huh? Good. Good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa. What? My rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Now, we all know why we're here. We've got a store to take. The plan is simple, elegant. Listen to Lester, pay attention to the information he gives you, and we'll all make a buck. If things go bad, you know the drill. This wasn't organized. We don't know each other. We got caught up in a robbery and acted in self-defense. But it's not going to be an issue, because everything's going to go just fine. The, um... The uh, alarm system is easy. Now, if I didn't need to be running things, I could have it offline myself. No problem, but uh, you should be able to get us a pretty decent window. How decent depends on the job you do. Now, uh, once it's down, you signal Michael, he makes the call. Things look good. We should be able to drop a present right through the air vent on the roof. Everybody goes to sleep, no problem. We take our time. If we run into trouble, we move quickly and with force. Any questions? No? Let's go. Frank, you're with me. Paige, you're in the truck with the bikes. Toe, McReary, take the van. See you on Little Portolo, people. Initials only from here on out. State Penitentiary. Dead? Is that you, Dad? Daddy! Oh, my God. Daddy! Oh, my God. Every single time. All right, you got it down? I got it. Because you use too much gas on these guys, you'll kill them. Well, shit, don't blame me the way these canisters is mixed. Just be careful. Yeah, okay. Listen, I stuck my neck out for you here. Man, you don't need to tell me that shit again. I got faith in you, F, but you're unproven. Unproven? For real. So I'd improve myself when I jumped off the back of that yacht on the highway, huh? Yeah, but these guys don't know you. They see some gangbanger with a happy trigger finger. They got money and their freedom on the line. I ain't gonna fuck this up, man. Good. I got enough shit to worry about. What you got to worry about? I don't know. I ain't done any real work in years, you know? So I'm giving half the take to guys who are supposed to be the best in the business. All right. Then it's all taken care of. You on top of shit. Yeah, do I need to give 12% to a gunman, 14% to a driver, 15% to a hacker? 
and that's on top of all the other outlets. I feel like a chump buying myself a score. Shit. I guess we'll find out if they worth it, right? I couldn't believe it was my son on the radio. This is so touching. We should send him all of your books and one of those stand-up cardboard cutouts of you oming. Dad, we gotta do some touching shit together. Heartfelt spiritual moments like on a greeting card commercial. Are you gonna take me fishing? <laughs> I love fishing. Ha! I just called to say you're an embarrassment, boy. What? As soon as everyone here in prison found out that I was your father, now the whole place makes fun of me. There's a reason I left you all these years ago. You're a wuss, boy. A bullying, nasty, creepy, liberal wuss. I'm glad I'm gonna die in here and won't have to endure ever meet you in person. Goodbye! Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Dr. Ramsey Angelo Harris is about to cry live on the air. <laughs> I'm falling apart. Life is a journey and the wheels have just flown off this spiritual hoop. I am clear avoid as hell. You know this, but I did not see that coming. There's a lot of things, Cheryl, I see coming. Alright, this is it up there. There's a way through the site, up to the roof. Man, we went over this. I'm cool. My koi pond is gonna save me now. Ah! Shithead. I'm falling apart, Cheryl, over here. All right, when the gas is in the ventilation system, give us the word. For sure, man. I got it. Excuse me. Exterminator. Hey, there ain't no one around. That suits us. Come on, get up to the roof. Hey, shoot! <laughs> Almost there. We're in position, waiting on your signal. Just gotta get where I can throw this. Hey, I saw you had some grenades on you. Don't throw them instead of the gas bombs. I think I can tell the difference. Hey, kid, something go wrong? Sit tight. I got an angle. That was it. They going out. You love her. Well, I, I love her a lot. I just, I wasn't thinking it was... Well, think about it like this. I mean, I always say that... I told them to fix that goddamn AC! What's going on? Let's go. Go, 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 go! Let's empty this sucker! Before the alarm will reset itself. 90 seconds? All right, that's why we pay you what we do. Hey, we got more than enough time to clean these people out. Let's do it. 120 remaining. Come on, come on! Keep it up! Better not be the display model. A minute left. Hey, buddy, if you handle the merch like that, you're gonna earn your 12%. We're going big. The cleaner's coming in. 50 seconds. Hey, we hit our target. Let's see how high we can go. Let's go, let's go. I'm leaving them empty. 40 seconds. Not a lot of time left. There ain't nothing left here for us. Let's get. So for the last time, move it. Hey, get the fuck out of my face. Oh. You forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. I'll see you at the river. Go. It's go time! Stay close. Stay safe. Let's go. We 
Driving! We got a window. Let's stop at the end of the river, get the bikes in the truck. F, come on, get in. Lester's waiting for us at the lockup. Candidate, former teacher, and successful divorcee, Sue Murray. Sue, come on in. Sit down. Good to meet you. This from noses like Eskimo people. Uh, good to meet you. I'm so excited to finally be on your show. That's a fantastic pantsuit you're wearing. A suit that looks like pants. You are a professional lady that does not show off the Oh, man. I thought I was going to be stuck to that bike. Yeah, I thought you were going to be stuck under a cop car. There got to be more dudes waiting around that way. We did not just get away with that shit, did we? You know what? I think we did. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we did it, baby. We did it. Woo! It is good to be alive. Woo! I might just be able to send my kids to college. It was a good takedown. Here's to the first of many. Come on, nothing to see here. Call your gym guy, Lesty, baby, because we got merchandise. All right, people. We need to split up. They're gonna be looking for a crew. I'll wire your cuts when the rocks have been sold. Man, that shit was crazy, dog. So what now? We get out of here. Keep our heads down. Hey, you did good, kid. What'd I tell you, Lester, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, look, everybody take off. Hey, Franklin. Listen, Lester and I got some things we gotta clean up. I want you to stop by the house a little later on. We'll celebrate, all right? All right. Okay. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. We're back in action. <laughs> 